Hello everyone, Vito Z32. Everyone's doing well. Today we have another review for you. It is the Stripey Luxury Edition from Baptiste Blom. I don't know why it's on here in the back. Same as the front. Let's check it out. Alright, so this is the Stripey Luxury Edition. As I might have mentioned in my intro, I don't remember now. Personally, I would prefer if it tells you what it is. It's just a little added thing that would be nice. It's just a small thing sometimes. But anyways, prior to talk case, this is by Baptiste Blanc, by the way. Printed by... Cardamonde. In front of the box, it actually has a... It looks like it has a bit of embossing to it. A bit of a linen finish of some sort. And you see gold foil details. Everything just wraps right around the whole tuck case. And it doesn't tell you anywhere on the tuck case what it is so one day in 20 years or 10 years i might be going through my decks and i might be wondering i might see this i might go what the heck is this i don't remember what it is <laughs> it doesn't tell me what it is so you know it would be nice to know it's just a minor thing all right continues on to the flap we'll move on from that very interesting tuckies very simple tuckies inside you get an ad card for baptiste blum it says it's one out of a thousand of these. Uh, designed by Baptiste Blom, one out of a thousand. Produced by Blom Card Comp with his bees. Uh, a better, he should have a better logo, personally. <laughs> uh, I think. Gold foil writing and stripes in the corner. And then you get the Jokers. Or actually, it's an ad card with his logo on it. All gold foil. The backs also feature gold foil. Very nice, simple. The Jokers is like a bullseye. <laughs> but Jay in the corner, and you guessed it, gold foil. Yes, this page is stripey, luxury edition. And then we get to the court cards. They're beautiful, gold foil. I do think it'd be nice if they had the pips. That's just my feeling. That it just seems like it's got a lot of blank space. Like it's missing something. It's incomplete. But they're nicely done. They're just kind of a modified standard court guard. Simplified. With lots of gold foil. It's very nicely done. I do like it. That being you know, everything I've said aside. And then the number cards. Interesting way of doing the pips. Almost like flowers. Interesting layout. Um, overall, very nice. It's a true linen B9 fashion stock. And they got foil on both sides. And unlike the uh, Moon deck from Steve Minty, it's not super thick. It's just a standard thickness. So I don't know why his had to be so thick. But that's a discussion for another time. Looks good when you fan or florist. Handles great. Beautiful handling considering all the foil on both sides. Um, it's a half borderless design as they call it. Because... Well, I don't know. They call it a half borderless design, but I don't know if I would feel that way. It's a borderless. It's a border design with a element to it. <laughs> call it a half borderless design, whatever. I'm not sure. That's what they refer to it as. Overall, I'm going to say nine and a half out of ten, or even a ten out of ten. Handles great. Looks pretty nice. Very shiny. I like it. Aside from the mind, a little complaints or things that could have been better. I still like it. That is that. Comment and subscribe. Let me know what you think. You can get this for most card or magic shops, I do believe. A little limit, thousand each, uh, only a thousand produced. So make sure you get them if you want them. And that is that. Comment and subscribe. Let me know what you think. We'll see you next time with more. Thanks for watching.